Time to get up. I've got a big day ahead of me today. Oh, oh Anthony Joshua. Oh, Anthony Joshua. I cannot wait for this fight. First of all, though, I've got to go down, uh, down to Ponty Preve because I've got a family meal. It's my auntie's birthday. Happy birthday uh, to my auntie. But uh, so I've got to do that first. Um, have a bit of food, maybe a few corks, enjoy myself. Get that out of the way and then get back here ready for the fight. Now, I heard a few rumours actually that uh, when uh, that Pulev guy pulled out of the fight, that they said that I might be stepping in to fight Anthony Joshua. We're all a lot of shit. As if I'm. For a start, Anthony's my mate. And obviously, it's going to take me more than like two weeks to get down to Anthony Joshua's weight, isn't it? So I don't really know what those rumours were surfaced for and who started those rumours, but it's a lot of rubbish, yeah? Simple as. I look fucking lush! So, I'm ready now to get my jeans on, my cords. Them on, them on in a minute. Now, <whistles> that is one expensive shirt, let me tell you. 894 quid this shirt. Um, it is silk and it is saddle roll, and I do look the dog's bollocks in it. So, I'm going to be wearing that to the meal and wearing it down to the fight. What? Can you give me a coat? Give me a coat, please. Coat. Just getting in from the meal now. It was a family meal, they are what they are. You know what it's like? Oh, hello, I haven't seen you for ages. How are you? Oh, you look well. All that rubbish, innit? It? It's time now, though, to get in and sort myself out, ready for the big fight later. Um, you see me eating the food, yeah? One, it wasn't enough. And two, the stick was like charcoal. So it wasn't the best, I gotta be honest. So I won't be going back there. I won't say where it is because I don't like to put a, a company's reputation down, but it was a place in Ponty called Alfred's. So I won't be going there again, um, but it don't matter. That's out of the way now. The meal's out of the way. And now it's time to uh, wait for Dan to knock and then we're going to uh, Cardiff, into town, ready for the big fight. Come in, Dan, boy! Wee hey! Hey now, Dan, right back though. Hey bro. Aye. How's it going bro? Looking forward to this or what? Yeah. Nice bro. Come on, Spar and Anthony. Spar and Cuspin are boys. Fucking enjoying ourselves today. Nice one bro. Go fight the Spar and... Eh, you happy with that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Go and have a cup of tea, bud. I fucking put the kettle on for you as well. Always. And uh, Dan, where have you done all the dishes for me? If you'd just give me a coke, bro. Nice one, buddy. Well up for this to do. Yeah. Fucking right. Who do you want to earn, bro? Or obviously Joshua, like. Yeah. I've heard rumours that Peanut Ed wants the other guy to win. What do you think of that, Bat? Obviously he would, wouldn't he? That's what I mean, that's what kind of guy he is, isn't it? Fuck Peanut Ed. We're in, uh, in a pub now, just chilling out in Cardiff, waiting for the fight. Dan's having a call, I'm having a call. She's cool. Right! Hey. 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 
Look at that horse up there, Dan boy. Lovely horse up there. It's black again. Walking down the stadium now, crowds are building now, look. Woo! Get a size on that. The size of my cock. What a night. First of all, I haven't watched the fight back yet. I've just got in, by the way, and it's half two. But I'll let you know why in a minute. But I haven't watched the fight back yet. But from where I was sitting, it looked like an early stoppage. I'm glad Anthony Joshua won, but I wanted to see a better fight and I wanted to see a better spectacle than that, than the referee jumping in and headlocking the guy the other black guy and then stopping the fight yeah secondly while I was watching the fight I could hear <laughs> all the time it was obviously someone being sick wasn't it there was this ginger twat of a girl laying on the aisle of the seating behind me being sick now when I got out of the ground, Dan said, I don't know how to tell you this, bro, but you've got spew on your back. Now, I'm, I was fuming, when I? I went looking for this girl, yeah? Now, all right, I don't hit girls, but let's be honest, that's a fucking man, isn't it? Girls don't behave like that. And I've seen a lot of people behaving like that. What are you doing? You've paid your money to get the tickets, yeah? So why are you acting like that for? Half of them are getting chucked out. You think you're so big and hard, but then a liquid goes into your body and fucks you up. If booze fucks you up, what's, what am I going to do to you? Do you know what I mean? It was like there was people there as well, um, fighting. You know, the, I've I seen a few of them playing up, but then obviously as soon as me or Dan would look at them, they'd obviously stop, wouldn't they? But obviously two big guys like that or whatever, intimidating. But then you've got like the smaller, little people who maybe don't look hard. That's what they're starting on them then, aren't they? Right, and now this is the third point. Millennium Stadium is a beautiful stadium, but I've just got home now. The fight finished at 11, and it's half two, and the clocks have gone back tonight. So really, it's half three, and I've just got in. Because I had to walk home. Now, locally, my fans will know that that's a long walk. Um, it's not that far in a car, but to walk is really far. It's about 10 miles, right? So I had to walk from Cardiff City Centre the Millennium Stadium, all the way back to Caffilly, to my uh, to Flock Fights HQ. Me and Dan walking home. Cause there was no way we could get anything. No way. I rang Anthony and I've complained about it, and he's like, "Oh, look, I'm just a boxer. I can't do nothing about that." I mean, my shirt was nine hundred eighty-seven pounds. This is what happens when good people, rich people like me. Mix with pe mix with peasants. That's what happens. Simple as. Oh, I'm not good now. 
It's been a long day, longer than I expected. Anyway, whew. So yeah, I've had a bit of a moan about all that, yeah, but all right, it was, uh, for you, Anthony, it was worth it. But I want to see next time. Next time, I want to see better, bro, all right? Yeah? Come on now. 10 rounds. I could have knocked that guy out in 10 seconds, probably. All right, 10, ten minutes at least, anyway. Um, sorry if this vlog weren't exactly brilliant. I am not a daily vlog channel. I'm not going to go and get up tomorrow now and record myself doing my teeth and having breakfast and all that shit, yeah? I'm not a YouTube pussy. I'm a real YouTuber doing real fighting uh, videos. And you'll see a real fighting video next from me. I promise you that. Yeah. But for now, I need some rest. It's time for bed. Ah. Oh. Simple as.